Hello and welcome to the Zades show. Now we are going to be doing not a challenge as such, but it's a kind of race. Um, but it's also an experiment. Which the experiment is does electric raising spoilers actually help your handling? Now, obviously, we know that. Uh, cars that you can attach spoilers to or spoilers you can attach to cars will help with the traction but vehicles with electric spoilers such as this T20 they don't get any spoiler customizations because they already have one which raises up when you get to a certain speed but since it doesn't have a spoiler option the traction should stay the same however if we disable the spoiler so it doesn't raise up, will that affect the handling in any way? Uh, today we are going to be figuring that out, but at first, the car, a T20, uh, I, I have some, I'm not sure what type, but a T20 supercar wants the fastest in its class, now not so much, but still kind of used quite a bit. Um, and we're going to experiment with it by using the electric spoiler first and then the second time um, disabling it. So first off we're going to go around our a, a second test track. Same test track location as our normal road testing but this one is more of a it's a point to point sprint with turns. So it's not just a straight line. So let's see how this goes, shall we? And here we go. So this is with the spoiler raising, as you can see there. Um, this is actually this is a non-customized version because I did have this, but I did sell it once a newer car came around that was faster than it. I'm coming to the first corner, hitting the grass a little bit, but no sliding whatsoever. So as we come down to the second checkpoint, still gaining speed, still with some gears to go, um, but we have a tight turn around there. Again, a little bit of excitement on the tail there, but completely controllable. Um, car in general handles very nice, it's based off a of McLaren, um, I'm not sure entirely which one, but I know it's a McLaren and we had a little bit of tail spin there as well, but that was mainly just because I let go of the accelerator. And as we come down to the finish, um, not, I'm not sure how fast this track is. Um, but I know it's, it's, I don't know, I think it's quicker to get around. Um, so now what we're going to do is disable the spoiler. And normally you do this with a button, but we're going to do it like this. So aim at the spoiler. Just damage it and that should stop the spoiler from coming up nope hold on I sh probably should have tested this before we just need to uh, get some damage on it that's all I know there is a way of doing it. I think you just got a hack at it. Okay, well this isn't working, so this hasn't gone very well. Um, well, that hasn't really worked now, has it? Um, Mm, right, you know what? 
tell you what, let's uh, let's try something else. Right. Um, so let's do this instead. The new uh, what's it called? The Ubermark Zion Classic. Now, this is the newest car to enter the GTA Online universe. Coming in yesterday, Thursday the 19th. Um, it's a sports classic. Let me get this gate open because they never seem to open it for me anymore. Um, sports classic. Very similar to a, another vehicle in a GTA game, Vice City, the first car you drive, which is the white one. I know it's probably not the same, but it reminds me of it. Um, very you know, classic, BMW based. Um, stats wise, it's similar to the. what's it called? The. I don't know. Rapid GT, I think it's called. Um, very similar to that. But we're going to have a look to see if it is as fast. Now, what we normally do is. One second, guys, I just got some. Oh, hang on. Oh, God. Right, give me a sec. Right, sorry about that. Um, yes. We're going to race these two against each other, but what we normally do, we're not going to do. We're not going to do a stock version, then custom version. We're going to just go straight to the custom version with this one, because in stock version, neither of these cars are very fast, so they're not much use putting them together. Um, but the Rapid GT is... As far as I know, the fastest sports classic car that we have in the game. Uh, one thing this car has that, this, uh, that the Rapid GT doesn't, it's very tail happy. As you can see, going around just a straight corner, it wants to spin out. It doesn't want to spin out, it's a drifter. As you can see by the back wheel burning out there. Nice, happily doing a very nice actual um, donut there. It's very, that's practically bang on actually, to be honest. But it isn't very much of a drifter, it wants to drift. So, we're going to see how those two go against each other. And quite frankly, I think Rapid GT is still going to beat it. So let's uh, let's have a look and see how they do, shall we?
Okay there, so as we have it, as per normal, at the time of recording, no idea what the times will be, but obviously you will probably, you'll have your own opinion once you do see it. Um, questions, the reason I do it how I do, as in doing this and then not looking at the results to give you an opinion on it, is because of a very because of a reason that I like to do. It's more of a, it's a surprise to me as well. So, one second. Again, I'm sorry about this. Right, okay, so I'm going to um, be cutting this one a little short. But, yeah, basically it's because I like, I like the results being a surprise to me as well. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. The, uh, the beginning wasn't exactly how I planned it to, I probably should have tested it out first, but hey, it's a bit of a laugh, um, so, you know, we just going to have to, I'm just going to have to wonder if it does or doesn't, um, or if I figure out how to, then I'll try again, um, but Zion Classic, it's more of a showcase car, driving around, cruising casual driving car, more than a race now. So, mainly just because of the um, tail happiness that it's got. So, but, hopefully you guys enjoyed, um, and I will see you all next time. Thank you, and bye bye.